This was the moment the UK's 51st Pride March came to a standstill, although the protests by Just Stop Oil hadn't come completely out of the blue. On Thursday evening, Just Stop Oil had posted their open letter to the organisers of Pride with their demands, in particular asking for clarity on where Pride sources its money from, what floats are included and what ethical considerations are taken when deciding who to take money from. United Airlines is the main sponsor for this year's Pride, potentially something of a conflict for London's mayor, who has championed clean air. And I think it's right that the organisers should be allowed to get sponsors from various walks of life. They've done their due diligence. I'm not sure how stopping the parade taking place either supports uh, you know, LGBTQI plus rights or encourages more people to join the campaign that we should be tackling climate change far more urgently. But the parade was stopped because of Just Stop Oil protesters who sat on the road at the beginning of Piccadilly. As you can see, there is now a very angry exchange between the Just Stop Oil protesters and people in Pride who want their protest to continue all the way on to Whitehall. That doesn't look like it's going to be happening any time soon. The police have now just arrived, but there is a complete block on the road stopping anyone from getting past. Police say seven protesters were arrested, but it was just the publicity Just Stop Oil were hoping for. I wish more than anything that other things worked. For 30 years, we tried peaceful protests, petitions. It's never, it's never worked. Nothing's happened, and direct action is the only thing that's caused change. Soon, it was back to normal, and the parade continued, with many people keen to make up for lost time. Alice Porter, Sky News.